Welcome to labnits.com. In this video, we're going to walk you through an installation of a Cisco ACS server version 5 and above on a VMware virtual machine. So now there are some prerequisites to the installation. First, you need to have an EXXI host prepare. Second, you need to download the ACS ISO from the Cisco website. Third, you will need a DNS server for the name resolution. And fourth, you need a reliable uh, time source, so you, can, you need to have a synchronized NTP server. Now let's take a look at the simple lab setup that we have. We have a Windows 2008 machine that's going to be acting as a DNS server. It's also running a domain controller. We're going to be creating a VMware virtual machine so that we can install an ACS server five, version 5.3 on, and that's going to have an IP of a dot .100. We also have a management PCs that we're going to used to access the management GUI of the ACS and that the IP is .32. Okay, so let's get started on our installation. I'm going to bring up the um, ESXi server. So through the vSphere client, you connect to the ESXi server. And here's what we have right now. The first thing you want to do is to create a virtual machine. So you go to new VM a uh, new virtual machine. Remove that so you guys can see. Okay, so now it's asking you two options, whether it's typical or custom. So you're gonna choose typical. Give it a name, here we call it LM ACS1. Next, now it's asking you for the way you want to install your VMware host. I'm just going to pick since we only have one data store. Now this particular VM is going to be running Linux, and we're going to choose Linux, other Linux, 32-bit. Okay, and all it needs is just, it's just one uh, network interface card, so we'll leave it as one NIC, and we'll make sure you select the correct network you want the ACS machine to be running on. So for us, it's going to be VLAN 32, and we have that configured already on the V switch. So I assume you guys uh, have the same or something similar set up already. Now for the virtual disk, although Cisco uh, for the production recommend a virtual disk that's larger than 500 gig, but for our labbing purposes, it's just have to be bigger than 60 gig. So here we're going to go with 80. And to reserve some disk space, we're going to do thin provision. And again, in the, your production, you probably want to choose the, one of the thick provision. So all the disk space is pre-allocated. Okay, now we're going to click edit the virtual machine. Before completion, we'll go continue. So here there's a few things that we need to adjust. First is the memory. So by default, it's, you can see it's 256 megabit, uh, megabytes of memory. Instead, we're going to do 4 gig of memory. CPU, we're going to go with uh, two cores. We don't really need a floppy, so you can remove that. So for the DVD, here is where you would want to point it to your ISO file that you downloaded. Um, and for us, we have the ISO file uploaded to the data stores already. So it's right here, ACS um, 5.3 ISO. Just need to point to that. Make sure you click on the connect on, uh, at the power on. Okay. The NIC is connected to the correct network. And that should be it for the virtual machine creation. Click finish. Now we have our brand new virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and launch the console. Right here and go ahead and start the virtual machine.
There you go. The first thing it asks you is if you're installing, if you're install, um, if you want to install through the keyboard or serial console. So here we just just going to do keyboard and monitor. So we choose one. I'm not sure if you cached at the beginning. There's also an option to reset the management password. So we're just going to let the installation run. It might take some time, but I will uh, fast forward the video for you. So the video doesn't get too long and you just sit there and watch the whole installation process. But I still want kind of want to show you how the installation goes, but I'll, I'll go ahead and fast forward some of these so I kind of speed things up a little bit. Okay, so now the first part of the installation is completed. It's asking you to run through a setup process. So here we type in setup. Okay, so it's asking for a host name. So we're gonna call it lmacs1. The IP address 172.16.32.100. Subnet mask is 255, Default gateway. 32.1 default DNS domain here is we have lab minutes.com primary name server so this would be the name server that we have identified during our prerequisite so that would be 172.16.32.40 in this lab do you want to add another name server? No, since we only have one. Username, we're just going to leave it at the default of admin, with the password of your choice, and make sure it meets the password complexity. Okay, now it's just it's trying to bring up the network interface to do the network connectivity check. So it's important to have your VMware set up properly and have access to the network because it will try to reach the default gateway. It's also trying to check the primary name server, which I might not have running right now. So let me go and turn that on real quick. Okay, so you see right here, name server ping fails. Do you want to retry? Let's try no, let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like when you decline the second ping test, it's just skip the process, then proceed with installation. Okay, so it looks like our installation is completed. As you can see by the uh, login prompt on the ACS, so let's see if we can ping that IP now. So I'm going to bring up my, let's see, from the switch. Let's try to ping it from the switch. All right. 
Okay. So 32.1 is itself. 32.40 is the window 2008, and then trying to ping .100, and we can ping just fine. Okay. So now that we have the network reachability, you can try and SSH to the ACS, and we're going to have the accept and save the key. Username will be admin. Let's give it a second. Okay, and then the password is the password that you've set up during the setup process. Okay. Now you can see the look and feel of the command line is very similar to a Cisco IOS where there's a router and switch. So if you do show run, even the command, some of them looks very much the same to a Cisco IOS. So, so far we have during the setup wizard, we have set up the domain name, IP address, name server, default gateway. So in addition to that, there's a few a recommended um, config that you might want to do at the very minimum. The first one would be to set your clock time zone. So it will be clock time zone. And here is this where you specify the name of the time zone. And it also tells you that if you did not know what to set that to, do a show time zones command. So you want to go back and do show time zones. And you can see there's a lot of them. So you just have to look through and find the one that you need for us. See so if we can find the one that uh, we need. Okay, for us it's going to be U.S. Pacific. So let's go back, clock, time zone, just copy that, and then set, and it's going to ask you to restart the service. Let's not do that for now, so we know. Let's see what so everything else we need to set, or we can set for clock. It just looks like the time zone is the only option. Next, we want to set the NTP server, so your time will be synced to your NTP time source. So here we have our switch to provide time. So it'll be 32.1. Enter. And again, it's, it's the reminding you that you need to restart the ACS service. Okay. So now that we have all those sets, let's go ahead and restart our service. Command is application stop and then the name will be ACS all lowercase okay so it's stopping the services right now for ACS okay so I said uh, the ACS is stopped now we just need to start and back up. It will be application, start, and then ACS. So that actually might take a little uh, longer. It will be a, a, few a few more minutes. Okay, you can check the application status by the command show application status. And then the name of the application, which is ACS. And right now there's it's still initializing, so there's not a whole lot of information that's available uh, for us to look at. Okay, so it looks like the service is still coming up, so while we're waiting for that, let's take a quick look at our um, time. So we show NTP. You can see here it picked up the time with the show clock. And that looks uh, accurate. OK, 
Okay, so we are almost there. But since the management process is already up and running, we should be able to uh, access the management GUI. So let me bring up the web browser. Just need to go to HTTPS 172.16.32. One hundred. Okay. Now here's the certificate warning. Just go ahead and proceed. And here is our um, ACS login page. So the default username is actually not admin. So there's two separate login accounts. One for the command line uh, interface, which is the admin username, but for the GUI. It's ACS admin, and for the password by default is default. Okay, so the password is default. Login. And the first time you're trying to log in, it's going to ask you to change the password. So the old password will be default, and you set the new password of your choice. Okay, and the and again, this first thing that's going to try to get you to do is install the license file. So at this point, if you have the pack key that you have um, received from Cisco, then you need to go ahead to the Cisco website and register that to get the license file. Or uh, if you want to just basically validate the product, you can go to the, to the Cisco license website also to get the demo, which is what we have here. So we're going to go browse. So here you have the license key, and then just click install. And now we are officially on the uh, ACS the GUI page, so you can start your configuration. Okay, so that's it for the video for on the installation of Cisco ACS. Uh, version 5 and above. Thank you for watching labminutes.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.